Hey guys, I wanted to film a video today. It's kind of dreary and it's supposed to snow today. And so I woke up this morning and kind of had like a cleaning bag. And I have been organizing and cleaning and I thought, oh, I really wanna film a video. So I'm actually standing in my bathtub with all of my stuff lined up because I have like a window, um, one of those ice block windows. Um, you can see it in the mirror back here. Um, but it gives really good natural lighting and so I really wanted to use it today. Also when I cleaned, I found this, so score. I forgot that you existed, little guy. Um, anyway, I have already primed my face with the Josie Marin I don't know if you can see it. This natural lighting is gonna be good for my face, but maybe not so good for the products. But it's the Josie Marin um, in the color Etheric, and it is actually their Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm. Now, I got this from a Birch Box, Beauty Box, I'm not sure which one, but it said that you can use it as a finishing, like for highlight, wherever you wanna look kinda of dewy or um, highlighted. Um, but I used it as a primer today because I really wanted to see how it worked and I feel like it I mean I have a lot of skin issues right now, but I feel like it kind of blurred my pores a little bit and so I'm excited um, I did tan my body and failed miserably because I sleep with pony holders on my wrist so I have some odd spots but it's gonna be okay. So today I'm gonna to use the Maybelline Super Stay Makeup, and this is in the shade We Don't Know. <laughs> I don't know what shade it is. Um, this is usually what I use if I'm a little bit on the tan side because it is a little dark, but I'm gonna mix it with my Age Rewind. That's what I'm gonna use for my concealer today. And so that can kind of help lighten it up. Just using a damp beauty blender, we're gonna pat this into the skin. I've been watching um, Rachel Zoe videos. I'm kind of obsessed with her. I love her so much. But she said that you should always go out in natural light to check your outfit to see if it matches or if you can see through it or whatever. But I feel like that's a good tip for makeup because sometimes I do my makeup in our kitchen and the blinds are closed because it's early in the morning and everybody's in there eating breakfast. And um, then I get in my car and I'm like, Oh my gosh, what did I do? So, it's good to kind of get some natural light and make sure that you don't look a little too tan or a little too white. This gives a good full coverage. I just had to use a little bit. And since I'm really not going anywhere today, I'm not gonna just beat my face to death. I kind of want to let it breathe a little. Um, I'm going to use the Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is the foundation, but um, I like to use it for concealer and also to lighten up my foundation if it's a little too dark in some areas. So I'm just going to blend this in with that same beauty blender. It's really not a beauty blender, but that's what I call it. I think I should just call it a sponge. And then, of course, I'm using Airspun. I got into my makeup kit to get these darker foundations. And I still have a backup Airspun, which is good in my book because this one is about to run out. I'm the type of person that I would rather buy two have to go back and it might be out. You never know with this powder. Okay. So then 
I am going to do my contour. I've kind of been dabbling in the, ew. <laughs> kind of been dabbling in the cream contour, but I'm not feeling super brave today. So I'm gonna go in with this because I'm out of my favorite shade. So we're going to the next best thing. Clean those edges up. Life. I'm back. Okay, then I'm going to go in with that airspun powder and I'm going to get it on the flat edge of my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to press it in to just really clean up those lines. This is a little drag queen trick that we have stolen from the drag community. Thank you. Then I'm gonna go in, you know what? I'm not, because I've used this in every single video, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna get my Too Faced palette. Okay, I changed my mind again. Um, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. blush palette today. Um, oh, the blush is kind of popping out. I'm gonna use this shade very gently today. I have been doing some research on cruelty-free makeup because I feel like it is something I'm pretty passionate about and e.l.f. is cruelty free so it's very cool of them. I'm a little sad because Estee Lauder is not and that is the foundation that I use, so I'm not completely cruelty free, but I'm getting there. I'm gonna try to find a foundation that I like as much. Um, then I'm gonna go in with my fan brush and my NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Spray it. And then I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild highlight powder in the shade Precious Petals. And do you see that? It's a little bunny. It's cruelty free. So this has been one of my favorite highlights because it's so beautiful. I cannot get over it. They have a few shades of this and I think it was like three dollars and it is so like look at that ah, I love it sometimes I tend to go a little over the top on the highlight because it's just so exciting and so good hi don't mind don't mind these guys need to take these out. This is too much. It's too much for me. Okay, then I'm going to spray my face with setting spray. Done. Um, and then we are going to move on to the eyeball. Okay, I think I'm gonna prime my eyes with this Josie Marin stuff because one, I'm out of eyeshadow primer. And so I've really just been using weird stuff like eye crayons and primer that I use on my face and just spraying my brush, using water on my brush, just because who has the time 
to go and get some eye primer. This girl does not. I haven't even had a chance to go to Walgreens this week, so I've been using like cream highlights and all sorts of things I probably shouldn't. So it's fine. It is what it is and it's going to be all right. Um, then I'm going to use, as always, the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner pencil. This has been a good little guy. I've had it, I guess, since my birthday. It was the birthday gift from Sephora. And I like that you just roll it up. I just like it. It's pretty good. Um, then I'm going to go in with the Gimme Brow. I'm pretty sure this is empty, but it's just like you never really know. So, um, either way, I'm using it to comb my brows because they need help. They constantly need help. Look at these little sparse puppies. Yuck. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia. And I'm using the brush that it came with, the little angled brush, and I am completely out of wax. And this is the color I've been loving. So that is what I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to outline it. And then I'm just going to use that powder to fill in as I move up. And then just continue that process. Because I've got some little bald spots. I don't know why. Gotta look in the mirror. I kind of want that sharp line. But I want it to be even. You know? And like this. Why do I even care? Because look, I shouldn't. Then I'm going to curl my little lashes. Y'all, I gotta put something on these crusty critters. I don't know if I'll ever get comfortable curling other people's eyelashes. It really freaks me out. Okay, so this is the look that I have really been enjoying. So I'm gonna use Spice Lip Pencil by Milani. And then I'm going to use NARS. It's their liquid lipstick. And it's in the color Bound. It's just a sample. But I really love it. It's really creamy. It smells really good. It's not going to stay in place all day. But it does have some lasting power. And it's not going to totally dry out your lips. You're going to be able to talk and, you know, be a human, which is nice. So there's that. And then I am going to, since I already primed my eyes, I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Venus Palette. And I'm going to go all over the lid with Aura. Aura, A-U-R-A. I always want to say Aurora. I wish it was named after princesses. So I'm going to go all over the lid with, let's just call her Aurora. <laughs> a 
looks a little scary, but you want to get this lighter shade down so you don't have to highlight your brow bone after you've done all your shadows and then pack that on top of all the work you've done. So I like to go in with a really light shadow first and then that's going to be my highlight shade on my brow bone and my um, inner corner. And I'm going to add another shimmer to the inner corner once I'm all finished. Okay, and then I'm going to get, and that was just with a fluffy um, eyeshadow brush, and then I'm going to go in with an angled brush, and I'm going to use the color Creation. Where are you? Creation. It's so pretty. It's like a brown brick cinnamon. Yum. I just want to have copper penny on my eyeballs every day. This is not blending the way that I want it to and it could be because I put that Josie mirror and stuff underneath. These shadows usually blend really great. So don't give up on a shadow. It might just be the primer that you're using that makes it act a certain way. Okay, windshield wiper the next one. Go down here. Some people have asked me if I'm getting someone to do my makeup for my wedding. And that makes me laugh because I'm the pickiest person on the face of the earth when it comes to other people doing my makeup. I can remember when I was, when I was like 12 maybe, I think I was 12, we had um, glamour shots in the mall Shout out to Glamour Shots. And um, it was one of my birthday presents or Christmas presents. And um, I don't remember which one. And I went to Glamour Shots and I wanted them to fully beat my face at <laughs> 12 years old. And um, sadly they didn't. So I was very disappointed. Um, sorry, I took this shade and put it in inner corner and then I'm taking this one. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. Anyway, so I really, um, wanted them to just beat my face and they didn't and, um, I just felt really weird because all they did was put foundation and like really thick concealer on me and um, then they put mascara on and like clear lip gloss that was very sticky and so like in my pictures I'm like I felt so uncomfortable um, and I told my mom to burn the pictures. I'm pretty sure she didn't. She probably still has them, but anyway. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty white iridescent and just kind of blend all these together. And I'm gonna do my bottom lash line. Anyway, so I did that and that pretty much scarred me for life because I felt super ugly and I hated what they did to me. And so I um, didn't have my makeup done again, I guess until middle school. And I went to, I th think I went to Clinique. I don't really know, but I didn't really care for it there. And I just wanted to do my own thing. Um, I did this 
on my lower lash line. I wish these had shade names. And I did this one to blend the shades together. Ooh, yeah. That's what I like. Um, anyway, so I did my makeup for prom. I did my makeup for every other thing that I would have gone and got my makeup done for. And um, I just learned what I don't like and what I do like. And sometimes it's hard for me to explain to people what I do like or how I'm feeling that day, how I want to look. So for my wedding, I will be doing my own makeup and I feel like it's going to help me relax on that day. It's going to help me focus on one thing and really take my time. And I'm excited for that day. Um, I'm using Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel and it is perfect for bottom lashes. It is the only mascara that I have been able to do my bottom lashes without making the biggest mess of my life. And that is something I can appreciate. I'm gonna do a little bit on the top lash just to coat these a little bit. I feel like this is the type of look that I would probably do with lashes for my wedding because this is what makes me feel pretty. I know some people probably look at it and they're like, your eyeballs are copper red. But that's what I like, dude. I think it looks good with my green eyes. I think it's a good look. And I wanna look like myself, you know what I mean? Like, I don't wanna look like a pink princess. I wanna look like Gin. So that's my plan. And then if you want, you can always put some false lashes on top of here. I might do that later. Or I might not. I might lay around and watch Girl Boss on Netflix. Um, are any of you guys watching Girl Boss? I love it. I read the book. And I think Sophia Omoroso is the coolest. Really? She's nothing like me, and that's why I like the show. Jeez. Awesome. Love it when that happens. Then it's all red. Then you gotta do this. Gotta get your little spongy. Get in there. Dab on it. Okay, and we're all done. This is my go-to minus the mascara in the corner of my eye. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and thank you for being a friend, for being supportive, and for thinking I'm cool even though I'm not. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye guys.